Oh boy. You know what? I really need a poem. So I'm I'm going to annoy this poet until he gives knock, me a poem. Hmm. You yes. again. Yes, me again. I uh still need your help with that poem. I now. still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. Yes, There's sir, a do. poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Uh Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. But of course. Say that again. Uh here am I, there are you, Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The oh. very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens Jeez. no! I know a lost cause when I see one. There is oh, only one on, thing dude. that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Drugs? <laughs> Ghost writing. Drugs? <laughs> That's what I meant. Here, take this bug. Oh, what on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Oh, wow. Cool. Like a secret agent. Cool. I'm going to go brag to my dad about that. I, that. I don't even need a good freaking poem. Hey, check. All right. Okay. Well, I guess it's in my ear. Anyways. Seagull. Hey, Dad. Steven Seagull. What is it now? <laughs> Can't you see your old man is busy? You know what? I know. The I know which I'll words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Never Too would late. I. I uh, may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I I've may not got... be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What? Ear wax? Actually, an ear bug. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who but lives course. below me? Yes, exactly. <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must Sweet you really nothings. play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. <laughs> I'll do it my way. <laughs> oh, Must you really the kid wants the to stand on his own midnight. two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And ah. you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, our? Exactly. Uh, but first, um, let me give you a few more Am I gonna get cucked by my dad? From father to son. Is my dad gonna cuck me? Wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe wow. he's not such a bad guy after all. How, how nice. My dad is helping me out. I guess maybe he's not gonna cuck me. That's great. What is? Can I read I the can invitation? I wait to give this to Gold. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna read it. It's her invitation. It's not for me to read. It's for her to read. What have you got this time? And well, what do you formal think? invitation, this milady. Is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh really? Yes. Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. But of course, Bravo, my Rufus. daddy wrote it. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. But of course. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Deponia. Lay oh. aside? Oh. Certainly sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. She said the words. She said, oh. Why Rufus. didn't she show up? Why, she didn't show up? I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Well, geez, I better go Romance give him an ear flowers. Flower. My ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Nice suit I'm wearing. Dad? Now. Oh, what the heck? What's what been the... going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well do start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. Sheesh. Okay, well, you know, I may as well grab the memo I while I've got it. a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Oh, I don't believe it. First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter. That Sheesh. miserable old dirtbag. Well, you know what? It's gonna backfire on him miserably, isn't it? Because I'm gonna... I'm gonna radio him. I'm... You know what? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna feed Crane. him the platy poo line. Crane. Crane the poet, my man. What is it? I would it? like your last I found possession. Something. One last no little don't say it memo. Here. I need a radio. Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't no, change the subject. Just give me the radio. <laughs> Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? <laughs> oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. Yeah, why listen to the stock market news when you can just follow Nancy Pelosi's Hello? stock picks? Hello? Dad? Yes. Is that you? Yes, get it off is. Off the line now. No. I'm waiting for a radio message from my pro Just get off the line, okay? You're from your prompter? Me, like you always did. You're listening to him. Sheesh. Well, I suppose I'll have to, uh... I'll have if to, If that uh, doesn't... I do what the heck? It's my freaking dad. Stealing my date from right under my nose! Your own son! Uh, excuse me? You're Rufus's father? Yes, he, he is. He seems to think that. But I'm not. That what? is totally... Believable, oh, actually. I took him but, in uh, when I was still mayor of Kuvak. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! That honestly makes a bit more sense. Examine your feelings, but... Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no oh, decency? <laughs> Look who's talking. Oh, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. Be but that as it may. heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force? Kicking and screaming? Yes. Just like the trash baby that you are? Really? I'll get you for this. Ooh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an I'm getting cucked by my dad. This sucks. I, uh, uh, it's just the worst possible oh, outcome. I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so gonna rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. Yeah. You know what? You want to... You want a prompter? I got a good. I got a prompter right here. This guy's got some bars. Hey, you know about poetry, right? Yeah, he's sure a real thing. poet. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see. I've come to the right place. Here. Exactly. Watch this. Radio? Oh yeah. You'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? Both. It's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. Uh huh. A poem in your honor. Yes. Okay. Of course. Here we go. The poem. Pardon me? Ahem. <laughs> go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, just speak. Oh, oh, oh. Speak, uh, could you speak in, into my lapel oh. for a moment? Be sure to enunciate. I should be here. As you wish you What a great poem. Oh my gosh. Cuter. Platypus. You look just like just a. Just like a. Platypus. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yuck. What? Hey! Oh, what yuck, the... water. Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. Yes, he is. Very... Noble of you to try and warn me about him. She finally gets it. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father is you know, what you're sophisticated, okay. but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, yeah, what do you say? Just without the stripes. Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you will find a way. And I should know. The others are a part of me, after all. To tell you the truth, 
I liked you right from the start. You uh -huh. are a lot like Cletus, but you uh -huh. have a real backbone, and you aren't such a sissy. Uh -huh. That's true. Uh, but don't tell him I said that. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Uh -huh. Really weird, isn't it? Interesting. The snobbish one is the one that likes me the most. Kinda hot. Well, anyways. Now time to get in a lot of trouble with my viewers. Yeah, Oopsie. we're gonna be. Moving. I must have nodded off for a moment. No problem. As long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. I think she avoided it. <laughs> You're funny. Anyways, we did it, guys. We got a big, deep, wet kiss, and that was the goal of the episode. Also, goal. We persuaded goal, but we got a big kiss. She didn't even. She didn't even notice the touchy feelies, you know. What a woman. Anyways, on the next episode, we're gonna be we're gonna be lying blatantly to children, probably. I don't see why not. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to feel up your butt. Unless you're into that, in which case, I am definitely going to feel up your butt. Yeah, this wasn't the best outro. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.